This is a mutual game of trust here, Nick. You know, not only is this a quiet little spot, but I know it pretty well. And I, I know it won't be a high-risk location for the next three months to bury something large and sought out. I know this distrust it stretches both ways. But at least trust in the fact that our motivations are the same, okay? You like what you do, Nick? Do you enjoy the counterfeit business? <laughs> well, you'll have to excuse the passionate approach of Detective Munson. Don't really like his job. You know why? Because being a cop is shit. It's a shitty fucking job. Hey, let me ask you something, Nick. Where, where do you think all this money goes, huh? Where do you think all this money goes? Do you think all that money after the investigation is going to go to charity? That after it's over, it, it'll go back to the taxpayers? It'll be used to build some crisis centers? Or go towards building a hospital? Do you think they'll use the drug money to go towards a woman's shelter? Or to help feed some starving crack babies? money would just sit in evidence for years. And once everything was over, with no clean or legal sources to return the funds to, it just get absorbed back into the system. That crooked, broken system that created and refuses to fix the inequalities that I mentioned. No. Is allowing that to happen what a good cop should do. Now Munson, uh, he's having a baby girl on the way. And his share is going towards building a new home and sending her to college. Something you can't do on a detective salary. For me, I don't have kids. <laughs> but now I can afford to retire and leave something behind for my wife. And whatever you choose to do with your share, I'm sure it'll be a hell of a lot better than whatever those drug suppliers were going to do with it. Now that may not be the thought provoking disposition change and steal from the rich explanation you were hoping for. But it's the truth. The cold, unrequited truth. 